Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, in this video, what we are going to do is uh, see is uh, demonstration of my uh, the video series uh, which we are actually seeing in the last few videos, which is uh, building a stream processing uh, application using uh, Meetup.com uh, uh, RSVP messages, right? So we'll see uh, demonstration from uh, beginning to the end. So from uh, how do you get that uh, <coughs> uh, from the Kafka producer? How do you get the stream, uh, uh, the meetup.com RSVP, st RSVP stream uh, data and uh, push, uh, pushing into the, uh, uh, pushing into the, <coughs> uh, uh, the so meetup.com uh, exposes the REST API, right, to uh, expose the streams, right, stream data, RSP stream data. So how we can actually consume and uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the Kafka producer and uh, publishing to the Kafka topic and we'll consume using a, st a Spark structure streaming and we'll process, store the raw data in uh, MongoDB and uh, aggregated data in MySQL. And we last video we saw the how to build the dashboard uh, by pulling the aggregated data from the MySQL. So uh, uh, till now we saw bit and pieces of every stages. So in this video I'm going to run every program from the from Kafka producer to dashboard and we'll see the end-to-end uh, -end, uh, uh, demonstration. Okay, let me start with the uh, Kafka uh, uh, producer okay so we just going to uh, so before that let me start the kafka server as well so I need to ta start so i'll start with the zookeeper uh, component first okay i already open in uh, two windows terminal okay command line prompt yes one i one uh, window i am starting the zookeeper component so it will be running on by default 2181 uh, port number the next i will start the kafka server okay just verify it is running yes it is running on the 2181 uh, bind it to this port okay so another uh, uh, command line window i will open the kafka server okay so once this is uh, both are uh, up and running then i will go and uh, run the kafka producer okay so it just uh, starting up okay so now it is uh, started now go and uh, start the kafka producer okay i explained you this program so if you are not watched uh, 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 how we can actually build this Kafka producer? Please watch my uh, <coughs> video in this in this playlist. Uh, I will be adding the playlist link in the description of this window. Please watch it. So let me run this uh, Kafka producer. It is going to start publishing the uh, record to this uh, Kafka topic. The topic name we were using is uh, basically uh, 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 Meetup RSVP topic. Okay, that's the topic name. So I'm going to run this uh, uh, consumer, which is uh, Spark structure streaming. I made that uh, uh, interval latch interval as 20 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to run this. Earlier uh, in previous uh, videos, when I in explained each uh, uh, program, I actually said that 30 seconds. Now I'll just set as 20 seconds. And now it is going to start the Spark structure streaming uh, application, which will consume the uh, message from the uh, meetup uh, um, RSVP uh, RSVP topic okay and it will actually post the raw data in the uh, MongoDB okay and uh, aggregated data in the MySQL so if I let me show the MySQL table I don't have any records now okay I uh, cleaned all the tables I will go and show in the MongoDB also MongoDB also you see the document count is zero Okay, so we'll start uh, refreshing each uh, things. Then once, so it is it started writing into this. Okay, so okay, and also let me check this. We'll refresh this uh, MongoDB collection. So it is. Uh, I'm using the <coughs> Mongo MongoDB Compo, uh, Compass Community Edition, which is open source uh, GUI for your uh, <coughs> MongoDB. Okay. So we started publishing the uh, documents. Okay. Now we'll um, just go and check the uh, MySQL table. It, the aggregated data yet to uh, inserted. Because it's still in the 
first we got only one uh, RS, only one group which is giving our recipe just wait for batch one and we'll go and uh, start the uh, dashboard also okay okay so still this has to be inserted to the mysql okay that's under progress <coughs> okay so and i also uh, i will just show uh, refresh this mongodb collection to check uh, whether it is pushed other documents so <coughs> just getting a refresh yeah it is 14 documents has come now uh, let me go and uh, uh, query the aggregated table in mysql uh, still the data is not pushed here okay okay still wait for some more time because uh, almost i am running uh, many processes components uh, <coughs> my memory utilization would have been high let me sh uh, show you in the task manager so it's for memory should is 70 percentage and cpu is 89 percentage okay okay again uh, now uh, okay batch one would have run now okay so now let me go and refresh here okay now it has come so let me start the dashboard application also so which is in another uh, pycham id okay i will start this <coughs> so it is going to pull the aggregated data from the mysql table which is uh, basically the this table meetup rsvp message underscore agg aggregate underscore detail underscore tbl okay so it is actually uh, launching this uh, real-time dashboard <coughs> which is based on python dash at this port number let me launch this see here now uh, very good actually so it has last time uh, we didn't see the no row count uh, basically in the no count uh, for jersey cricket uh, uh, city cricket club they said 2% uh, uh, is not coming for RSP. the RSP message for no is no responses to yes response is 0 uh, all other uh, 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 responses are uh, yes responses are uh, 6 and 4 so basically I am putting in the uh, ascending order ok so so it is updated actually now ok so sorry in the descending order now it is actually see it is it will refresh for every 20 seconds uh, now yeah uh, 220 uh, 17 42 26 seconds now what 46 seconds 36 okay the given 10 second as interval yes i think i would have given 10 seconds okay <coughs> let me show you uh, in the uh, interval control yeah I say I set it as 10 second here that's why every 10 second it's get refreshed here so it is going to uh, fetch the latest batch okay, every 10 second it's going to fetch the latest uh, batch okay so you will see here okay so now this has become uh, this is uh, yeah some of there is this is uh, right uh, press court valley it's a two uh, here and you see the uh, probably this is for no count two right that's what it's come here okay, very good okay so this is how uh, I build this uh, real-time dashboard uh, from the uh, meetup uh, uh, groups RSVP message so this is an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, demo. So in the next video, what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, basically uh, some of the subscriber uh, 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 requested to create this uh, Kafka uh, producer using a, a Scala language, programming language. I did it. I did it actually. So I'll create a video for it. 
and before that i will also create a how to run a ad hoc query on the zeppelin uh, uh, by connecting the mongodb okay uh, this because raw data in mongodb right we will do that and then followed by uh, apache kafka uh, producer using a scala programming language uh, i hope this video is helpful uh, uh, please provide your feedback uh, on the comment section of this video uh, thank you so much friends uh, see you in the next video